Greetings, we are the Arcturian Group. Welcome to this message which in reality is your message because consciousness draws to itself that which it is in alignment with and thus through these messages you are attracting to yourself what it is you need to know, understand, and are ready for. This is why it is so important to be aware of what you hold in consciousness. World events continue to cause stress and confusion for everyone. Those who have attained a consciousness of oneness understand that there is an energetic shift taking place but they too are experiencing a sense of sadness because they know that the world could be so different. Never forget that a new and different world is the goal, the divine plan and will happen. Allow the process dear ones for all is proceeding according to plan and anything not an end of divine consciousness is temporary. Many of you are finding yourselves increasingly drawn to step back from activities and people that were once important to you. This is because you have evolved and your consciousness no longer resonates in alignment with some of these activities and individuals. It does not mean that these things were inappropriate or false. It simply means you have moved into a different state of consciousness. When you choose to withdraw from things that once played a large part in who you were it often brings angry responses from those who were involved with you through activities or as companions. Your withdrawal is seen as personal rejection by those not yet able to comprehend that energy seeks to align with like energy and your energy has changed. Love those who may feel hurt and rejected because you no longer enjoy doing the things you once did. Do not engage in argument. Participate now and then, because it doesn't hurt to play the game in order to be loving on a level they can understand. It often happens that those who have been close long time friends are open to the idea that some things may feel finished for you and it is not a personal rejection of them. These friendships often continue in a higher and more satisfying form. Everything presently known and accepted in the third dimension belief system is changing. Some things will change radically and some not. But as collective consciousness increasingly awakens it cannot help but manifest as higher forms. Many long established institutions and belief systems will no longer be as they have been because the energy that maintained and sustained them will no longer exist. Those living fully in the three-dimensional belief system and dependent on the outer world for their good are experiencing fear at this time. Change is destroying the illusory foundation they have built their lives on leaving them floundering and confused. However, the crumbling of a false foundation is often the wake-up call necessary to force them into new and higher ways of thinking. Allow the process dear ones, just allow. Trust and know that everything taking place at this time is a facet of Earth's ascension process even if things do not appear to be very spiritual. Third dimensional living is built on and manifests from what is already known and accepted in the universal consciousness of duality, separation, and two powers. Because they do not yet understand that all answers lie within, the majority continues looking to the experts in all areas of life, religion philosophy, education, law, medicine, government etc. for answers, truth, and knowledge. Because most experts research, draw information, and come to conclusions through the three-dimensional belief system, the facts they promote and which have come to be accepted as the final word on a topic, will change as consciousness changes, leaving these experts and those dependent on their findings confused, angry, lashing out, and resisting as new ideas begin to surface. The findings of experts have always been considered to be truth in the minds of most but as increasingly more individuals awaken and begin to trust their intuition they are starting to question many commonly accepted beliefs. Through their newly awakened awareness they are looking at the world with new eyes and choosing to reject many of the long-held societal and religious rules that have held them in bondage. Many young people today are rejecting commonly accepted three-dimensional rules and regulations to the dismay of their parents. Large numbers of very evolved souls chose to incarnate at this time in order to add the light of their evolved consciousnesses to the The majority of them long ago evolved beyond what the Earth's present day belief system still considers to be real and important to their evolved states of consciousness. 
Many current three-dimensional rules and regulations just seem silly, unimportant, and irrelevant. The density of Earth's energy prevents them from actually remembering who they are and why they came. They don't understand why they are different and frequently do not fit in with their peers. Because of this many have become depressed, confused and even suicidal. However with time and maturity most will eventually come to understand that they must play the three-dimensional game a bit in order to be understood by those not yet at their level of awareness and do what they came to do. Parents, do not try to force these children into three-dimensional molds they have evolved beyond. They need loving guidance for living in a world that does not fully resonate with them. But allow your intuition to guide you rather than societal opinion. Fear is the reason so many continue holding fast to obsolete beliefs even when they have resulted in painful, unfulfilling, and sometimes downright horrible life experiences. Fear is nothing more than an expression of separation consciousness and is the underlying source of every discord on earth. When a person believes themselves to be separate from God, people, other life forms, and what they need, they feel unloved and unwanted. Not knowing how to deal with these emotions, they frequently blame those in their life lashing out at them physically, emotionally, and mentally in an attempt to prove that they are somebody, have power, and are worthy of respect and love. This can easily be observed in individuals rich and poor, some police, governments, some military, corporations, and in many present-day three-dimensional institutions. Open yourselves to the light dear ones. Allow the fresh air of that which is new and higher to have a prominent place in your thinking rather than continuing to constantly compare the present with the past. Despite what many believe and hope for, the past is not going to return exactly as it was because the energy that formed it is no longer the same. Consciousness is the substance of form and the collective is in the process of opening to a new and higher state of consciousness. Allow yourself to let go of anything that feels finished and complete regardless of what others may tell you. Empowerment is the trusting of an acting upon your inner guidance and intuition. Being light does not mean you must always be consciously thinking of spiritual truth. Once a consciousness of truth and oneness is attained, it is yours forever and will continue to spiritually unfold because consciousness is infinite. Know that you can never revert to an outgrown state of consciousness even if you should try as some have done in the hope that it would make life easier. When you are happy, doing what you love, your energy vibrates at a higher frequency because love and joy are the reality. Because there is only one, the state of your consciousness affects everyone else. Spending time in the nature, smelling and appreciating the beauty of a flower, watching children play, reading a good book, talking with friends, doing work you love, or engaging in a creative activity that you enjoy are all spiritual activities because they lift your energy into a higher frequency. The belief that you are not being spiritual when you engage in activities other than conscious worship or formal prayer reflects old religious teachings and dogmas that remain alive and well even today. Teachings that say the enjoyment of ordinary human living is not spiritual are still prevalent in some churches even to the point of dictating rules regarding exactly which activities are spiritual and permitted and which are sins worthy of punishment. It has long been taught that suffering brings a person closer to God, that in order to become holy a person must suffer and offer the suffering to God in reparation for their innate human sinfulness as if God could be happy in the suffering of itself individualized. Some believe that if they aren't suffering enough they must help things along through activities that bring about physical pain. If suffering existed in divine mind, it would be permanently held in place by divine law, never to be healed or changed. These teachings began long ago because they allowed those in power, especially religious power, to control and take from the lives of a majority that was uneducated and naive. Most of you have lived lives under the influence of these beliefs and may find that they occasionally pop up in your thinking about suffering. Suffering can indeed be a wake-up call for those who need it, 
but concepts about suffering giving pleasure to God must be seen for the nonsense they represent in once and for all be let go. Know that God does not, never has, and never will take pleasure in the suffering of itself as you. We are the Arcturian group.